A four-decade fight for answers and justice has been building to today. Around 800 people were in the Stardust nightclub in the early hours of Valentine's Day in 1981, but 48 of them perished when a fire ripped through the building, an event that changed families and communities in North Dublin forever. Survivors shared stories of an emergency exit that was locked and others that appeared to be of lights failing when the fire took hold and of panic among those inside the building as the ceiling appeared to melt. A long shadow of grief might have been expected, but a 43-year battle to find out exactly what happened that night was not. An initial tribunal months later found the fire was probably started deliberately, but that was never accepted by the families. And in 2009, a fresh report found there was no evidence to prove arson, instead calling the cause of the fire unknown. Victims' families endured more inquiries, legal challenges and organised countless protests down through the years. But some have gone to their grave without any closure. Oh, lovely. In 2019, Attorney General Seamus Wolfe directed fresh inquests, saying there was an insufficiency of inquiry in the original inquests. These inquests are now the longest held in Ireland, having sat for almost a year. Time felt most painfully by the families of the 48 people who went to the Stardust nightclub but never came home. Hannah Murphy, Virgin Media News.